<sighs> oh yeah. Uh, a lot of people have been, it's been asking me how, uh, how do you, well, put a rifling in the paper barrel. So I'm gonna show you how this one. Start off, you get like a little, like a section of paper or whatever, and you just uh, you know, make a hardened paper out of it, like I'd say maybe fold it four times or twice. So you just glue it, fold, run the air out, glue, fold, run the air out, and make sure you run the air out because you don't want any air bubbles in your barrel, obviously, or it's going to screw up the whole gun. So after you flatten it out, you basically just, you know, measure however much length you want or width you want for your rifling and this one I'm using 0.5 millimeter I mean centimeter or 5 millimeter so you basically just you know put a dot on the both sides and connect the dot you know and you just cut them out into strips according to the line And um, I'll just do it with three for this one. You can put like five or six or four or even ten. I don't know why you would, but you could if you're making like a cannon. But this one I'm going to do three. Um, I would uh, suggest using like a steel rod because first, well, first of all, glue doesn't really stick onto it. And, but you could use color pencils. You just gotta put like a candle wax on it as a lubrication, a lubricant to prevent the thing from sticking. And um, basically, all you do is what you're trying to do is just get the thing and uh, twist it, and then twist it around the rod, and then put a paper cover over it. And there, you, there's the barrel. And uh, you can actually adjust the number of twist for however long the barrel is at this stage too the, like for example this one the bullet ro in this barrel the bullet rotates every 12 inch and the way to count that or do that is um, basically one this this will be one rotation from here to here is one rotation and I think this is about 5 inches so this will be one rotation per 5 inch so you can do like, you know, an inch, one rotation per inch, but it's pretty much useless, but you know, you can extend it to make it, you know, a rotation per seven inch. For this one, I'm just going to do rot one rotation for one inch, uh, five inch. And it would be better or easier to just secure the ends with a tape this one just so that it'll stay on there here and you can actually get the measurement of the whole length or the, the arc length of this rod uh, by just you know getting a little strip of paper wrap it around once and it'll be like Let's say it's about that long, and you just measure the length of that, and then multiply by however many strips you want on the rifling. You can measure that, well, anyways. So you got that. Get another tape, and give it a little twist around one. And I advise you to do this while the strip is still wet, because once it dries, it's kind of a pain to do this. This one's kind of dried up a little bit, so it's a little tough to wrap it around. It's two, and and of course you try to achieve about the equal spacing right between these things. So yeah, got the rifling, and all you, now you, all you have to do is uh, either just get like a strip of paper. Oops, don't want to glue my finger, and 
get something like that and then put a glue around the strip of paper and just try not to glue the paper onto the rod it's kind of hard but once you get the hang of it it's not that hard and plus if you did put a like a lubricant on the base the base rod once it dries you can just twist it and it'll come right out so you just basically repeat that until you get a right thickness this and this is one method and another method will be to have another cylinder already made that's just a little bit bigger than the base the base cylinder and what you do is just put a glue around the, these little things and you just slide the thing on there and that will actually give you a nice smooth round finish so if you're making like a pistol barrel I'd advise you to use this method if you're making a rifle barrel um, it doesn't really matter I use this because it'll be easier and, um, to make it longer obviously you're just gonna you know glue like a cut off of, cut like a cut little bit off of it this tip and then have another strip made and just cut a little bit off and then just glue it and then just continue continue on and another uh, good thing about um, this method is that um, it actually reinforces the barrel because you're kind of like a weaving the thing so I would advise you to if you're going for a strong barrel you just let's say you t uh, put a paper around this way once next you would actually do it have it doing uh, going the opposite direction so it's like you're making a rope so it's really strong and this is like this is for my other rifle that I just made a couple of days ago um, say about I think I used about close to 100 sheets of paper for this one it's pretty heavy it's like three pounds so yeah it's very tough you can whack people with it and like they said this one has a, a one rotation per every 12 inch so after I'm finished with this rifle we'll see how well it performs so that's basically how you get a rifling in your paper reel. I'm not you know, I'm, I'm restricted in time so I can't make the whole thing but that's just the basic to start you off so that's pretty much it so see I hope this helped and see you guys later